A few days ago, I tested a driver that sells out immediately, but I think I could make it better. Today, we have said driver, and I've put in one of the best shafts ever made, introducing the tailor-made burner mini driver. This is one of the best drivers I've ever tested. It is, of course, the mini driver with the movable weight settings. I have it set on 11 and a half degrees. This is an absolute beast, and some of the ball flights that I've had throughout my golfing career using mini drivers are astronomical. And even last week when me and Chris tested these clubs, I thought, you know what, this is fantastic. I don't know why I haven't had it in the bag, but we posed the question, what if? So I've got hold of Graffaloy Pro Launch Blue Shaft. Guys, you can get these from Golf Clubs for cash if you want one. They actually have an offer on shafts at the moment, so go and check them out if you want to. But is this gonna be better? Are we gonna get good distance from this? And are we still gonna be able to keep it in play or is it going to be a total waste of time? We're also going to test this in the studio because as already mentioned this is one of my most requested videos and I can't wait to put this Graffaloi Pro Launch shaft in what I think is potentially one of the best drivers ever made both for forgiveness and to be honest for distance if you can strike it out the middle so make sure you stay tuned let's get back on the golf course let's see how it works out there and then let's get all scientific and start talking numbers. Len. As drivers go, if you struggle with them, I think the mini driver could well be. Chris, we're aiming at that post. Zoo, check that out. Now, numbers for me are vitally important when testing drivers, so make sure you stay tuned for the indoor portion of this video. But to kick things off, that I want something that's easy to hit, I can hit fairly straight, and still goes pretty far. So I don't want to lose too much distance. I need it to the left of where I want it. Is that going to be fairway bunker? Now the argument here is, is this shaft too long for such a small driver head? Because I always think that, why didn't TaylorMade put a longer shaft in the mini drivers? And why aren't PXG doing it with their new mini driver or Titleist with their TSR mini driver? And the truth of the answer is, I don't know. But how much testing have they done? Have they done testing like us here? I'm going to go over the corner here. Straight ball fight. That was a tiny bit high out of the face, but I think that's going to be nice and low spin. I tell you, it wasn't as high out of the face as what Dave had it when he hit. But I think that's almost your sweet spot with this club. Let's get down there, let's see where those are. We're going to hit it a couple more times out here in the golf course, and we're going to put it head to head inside on the golf song simulator to see if this really is the answer to mine and yours driving woes. So that didn't make it into the bunker, and I think front to back dispersion, I'm really, really happy with those with slightly different strikes. So the big thing for me is that I like the idea of playing different shots. I like the idea of working shots. Where's my gloves? Okay, let's hit this mini driver, first of all, with its stock shaft. The stock shaft, to be honest, isn't anything to write home about. It's a Matsuyama Pro Force 65 M40X. I told you we were getting scientific, Bob, didn't I? Let's see how it works. I've got it set at 11 and a half degrees of loft. That's not gonna change. The shaft length, however, with this Pro Launch shaft, it's quite a bit longer. You can see it's probably two inches, probably. Two, a bloke, three inches? I don't know. Maybe three, we don't know. Generous four, right. <laughs> We're not going to go there, Bobby. But we'll set the stall out. This usually carries for me around 255, maybe re releasing out to 270 odd. So if I get it really, really good, it goes a little bit further. But realistically, that's what we're after. Straight away. Been hitting it left today with everything. So I'm not overly worried about that. But what have we got? We've got a 157 ball, 252 carry. And a 270 total, so pretty much what I've said. If I could get this, because I know that when I'm on a golf course, I generally can keep it in play. You saw with the ball flights, with the video we did with Chris, expecting the new Titleist and PXG mini driver the other day, but I just had it on frozen rope. Even the bad ones were good. So let's see what numbers we have. That's the one. I felt like the ball just compressed into the club face. Might be a little bit spinning, but it's still, it's 250 carry, 265 total. Nice shot. It's a nice shot. We love a nice shot, don't we? Right, come on, a couple more. See if we can really nuke this. I think that's the one where if I could hit it every time like that, I just wouldn't have another driver in the bag ever. 
269 carry. And this is the difference. When you do get it, like I'm well aware that's a huge difference from the ones I've been hitting. It's nearly 20 yard difference. I can't put my finger on what I feel like I'm doing to get there, but ball speed wise, very impressive. It's the same again. It has to launch lower for me to be able to get this shot. Two, seven. That's, that's as far as a normal driver for me. I've done loads of comparisons with normal drivers and mini drivers. The thing for me is being able to move that weight forward to have it as low spin. That's the big deal about this one. So we've got two at around 250 odd and then two at 270 and just shy of. Amazing. And that's another one. You can sort of tell when you get in the swing of it, because I've been hitting normal drivers all day, and you do have to change it out a little bit. Again, 272, releasing up to 296. I'm almost going to class those first two as the warm-up shots, because we have got straight into it. 160 ball speed. It's like it's on string. And that's what I wouldn't want to lose with putting this shaft in. 275 carry. That's what I don't want to lose. I wouldn't want to lose that consistency. Right, one more, then we've got hopefully five pretty good, good shots to then go Graffaloi. You hearing that, Bobby? Are you hearing that? It's too loud to knock to, isn't it? That's the highest spin one. It's still a 261, 275 total. Let's put the Pro Launch shaft in here. I haven't been able to sleep. Think, honestly, probably it's something to do with an 11 month old baby, but right. this is where I pray this fits because we haven't actually tried this yet. Remember guys, if you want some shafts, golf club for cash is your place. Too lower, oh it fits. It fit, I thought, <laughs> you're all right Bobby. <laughs> Two weeks in Thailand, you've come, you've come back a different bloke. <laughs> right, this now, this is gonna get freaky. I don't know if it's too long. It feels a bit, I mean, this is, so this is shorter than a standard driver length. If we were to have, I mean, I'll take your head cover off. <laughs> okay, it's standard driver length, Bobby. Oh, that was really difficult to control. I feel like, look, how, look where that's gone. It's nowhere near. I'm just gonna have to swing it faster, aren't I? I'll hit that good. Again, it's high spin. We need to be able to regiment the spin down. I'm hoping this is just like, look at that though. So that's a miss hit, a little bit better, but 260. I feel like, hopefully they're the warm up ones that we had with the standard driver, because it's important you give yourself a few of those. It's just high. I need to get this lower. Get it lower and we're there. Because you see, it's coming down that way. Still 260, it's still there or thereabouts. And it's in play. There we go. There we go, Bobby, what are we saying? Come on. It's not though, is it? It's just, it's 272, it's good. It's not really much better, to be honest, than, I hit that good as well. That's gotta be good. That's just gotta be good. Is it two, 273? I mean, consistency-wise, I'm taking it me trying to hit it from the inside and this is what we don't want it almost makes you think that when tailor-made when titleist when pxg make these mini drivers and they make them with a three wood length shaft it's almost like they know what they're doing isn't it that's like all i've got i'm as disappointed as you guys are that literally i can't hit it further than that and that's left no. Let's get back out there and let's see if it's working on the course because it's not working in here, but sometimes it doesn't matter about being in here, does it? It's like when you bought a shirt and you really mm. like the shirt and the shirt doesn't fit. What are you trying to say, Bobby? But like, you really want to wear the shirt, so you still wear the shirt, even though you don't like it. I'll just be in here all weekend, Bobby. I'm hoping this has gone really well on the course. Good, it's just no better. It's so forced. That's the one, Bobby. I'll hang up the boots. 
Come on. Come on. Go. Go. No. Gotta be. You are taking the Point four of a yard. Nice bag it for that. That I want to hit. But then you look at that ball flight. That was absolutely perfect. Distance wise, I'm taking that all day long. It's almost more important out here. Look at that as well. Those last two shots have really made me think quite a lot more. Because that's two banks back in the middle of the fairway at good distance, to be honest. And the driver still feels fantastic. It still feels really nice. That was a bit healy, but I'm going to take it all day. Would you keep this in play more? Guys, get in the comments below and let me know. So, very fit and miss inside when it comes to the numbers, and that for me is almost put pay to this test. We're going to hit one more shot out here on the golf course where it counts. Yeah. Right, Chris is on camera, and I think he's probably going to agree what's one of the best ball flights I've ever hit with a driver. But looking at the numbers, does it go much further than with a normal shaft? I don't think it does. I'm going to hit one more actually and see if it goes past my normal driver. I think that's gone a lot further than you. As you can see, we have the mini driver just in the rough here. Not a bad distance in, to be honest. And we have one of the balls down there. The other one is actually Chris's from a video he's done. Well, that's a big difference and that's where when we do discuss these mini drivers how much are you really leaving out here even with a full length premium shaft in there guys thanks so much for watching smash that subscribe button below and i'll see you all at the same time tomorrow goodbye